The governor and state health officials warn we're going to keep setting these daily records if Wisconsinites don't stay home. Madeline Anderson joins us in downtown Cedarburg live to see if people are following that request. Madeline. Well, Ben, we have seen lots of people out and about all afternoon shopping, many wearing masks. They say they are worried about how bad the virus has gotten in Wisconsin, but they feel like this is a safe activity. Downtown Cedarburg remaining a bustling place for shoppers on a fall Friday afternoon. We just have a family member in town and we kind of wanted to show her some other places that she hasn't really been to. As the number of people infected with the coronavirus around the state hits another daily record, people we caught up with say they still feel comfortable going into stores and restaurants as long as others are wearing masks and are socially distant. But I'm not too concerned about my yeah. personal safety. I understand that it is a little selfish and that I could be able to spread it yeah. to other people but I feel like I'm in such a contact with such people around my own age group. I'm not really too concerned about that. I mean, and you just got to keep the local economies going also. On Thursday, Governor Tony Evers urged Wisconsinites to avoid any non-essential outings as well as social gatherings, large or small, to help slow the spread. Limit your outings to essential needs for the time being, like work or picking up groceries. And limit the number of people you interact with to your immediate family. Department of Health Services designee Andrea Paul warns hospitalizations and deaths will continue to rise until mitigation measures are followed. I just haven't drunk the Kool-Aid that everybody else has drunk at this particular point. Larry Gonzalez of Grafton believes officials are exaggerating the death toll, an opinion that did not sit well with another man walking by during our interview who had just lost a loved one to the virus. When you have uh, people, you know, that are bringing, uh, who are saying they don't know how they're classifying each and every death that occurs during this time, what are they doing? Are they all COVID? I mean, that's a big deal, you know, but they're shutting down everything. I'm giving the interview. And that man who interrupted our interview says he is in town this weekend specifically for the funeral for his uncle. He was too emotional, though, to go on camera.